Hey guys, it's time for another video of some kind. I'm sure the title has already told you what it's going to be, but before we start, I just want to share a cool thing. I was at Half Price Books, and I picked up a copy of The Merchant of Venice, and I picked up a copy of King Lear, because I really need to own King Lear. Both of these are Shakespeare plays that I love and I didn't own. I really, I actually quite like Merchant of Venice, and I think it's a lot more nuanced than people give it credit for even with the racism, so I am super excited to finally add these to my collection. There we go, they have been added. Oh, this is my Shakespeare shelf right here. Shakespeare and other plays, I do have other plays on there as well. So, today I actually wanted to talk to you about my favorite poems. Confession time, I don't actually read a lot of poetry. I'm not actually a big poetry fan. I know, I know. What is wrong with me? But I did manage to compile five poems that really stick with me and that I really love. So I'm going to share them with you and read a little snippet of them so you get the idea and talk about why I really love them. And then if you feel like it, definitely make a top five poems video of your own or leave your top five poems in the comments below. Alright, so I know I just said it's my top five poems, but in reality it's five poems that I like. And then the number one is the only one that's in order. The number one is my favorite poem of all time and probably will be forever. But the rest of them could go in any order. I'm just going to read them in the order that I wrote them down. So the first on this list in no particular order is The Stolen Child by William Butler Yeats. I'm going to read you like a couple lines that I really like from it real quick with my handy dandy laptop. Come away, O oh human child, to the waters and the wild, with the fairy hand in hand, for the world's more full of weeping than you can understand. I really like this one, obviously, it's on my list. It's uh, got fairies in it, which of course I naturally love. I love the way that it just sounds, the way that it just rolls through your mind, off your tongue, the descriptions of the places where the stolen child will be taken, and how much better they are than where the child currently lives. I just really love the sound of this poem, and it kind of reminds me of like water rolling over stones just in the way that you say it. Okay, the next poem on my list, which took forever to load, but you guys won't know that because I'll cut that part out. My internet is so slow. Peasants running back and forth with messages could go faster than my internet. Let's go back to the dark ages with this here. It's terrible. Uh, the poem that I have next on my list is Still I Rise by Maya Angelou. I love this poem because as you will soon discover, I love poems that are... Thank you, Kinshu. She's on top of my bookcase knocking shit down. Anyway, as Kinshu also agrees, I love poems that are victorious, poems that are in your face, poems that are like, I don't care what you do to me, I'm going to be better than you ever imagined I would be. I love victorious poems, and my Angelou does not disappoint. You may write me down in history with your bitter twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Cause I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. Here's another verse. You may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes, you may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, like air, I'll rise. So yeah, you can probably figure out why I like this one. I just feel that it is so powerful. And for anybody who has been kicked around for whatever reason, this poem just like makes you feel like you can stand up and fight again. So I definitely recommend it and any of Maya's other poems because she is an amazing, amazing person. So the next poem on my list might seem a little bit cliched, but I still really love it. I just love the sound of it and the feel and the mood that it creates. And it's very different from the last poem, and that is Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. I love this poem. It sticks with me, and a lot of it is just like, I like things that create a very dark introspective mood. When I'm not being victorious, I'm being dark and introspective, so Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven is great for that. Most of you are familiar with at least parts of this poem, but I'll read you some parts anyway because it's just good and it's, it gives me an excuse to read this poem. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping on my chamber door. "'Tis some visitor,' I muttered, tapping on my chamber door, only this and nothing more. 
So as we all know, uh, this, this poem actually tells a story, which is a bit different from all of the other poems that I, I have on this list. Um, and I don't usually actually go for story poems. I like poems that are just more like about an idea. But this one, I heard it, I think, first when I was a kid, and so it really stuck with me. But the raven sitting lonely on the placid bust spoke only that one word as if his soul in that one word he did outpour. Nothing further than he uttered, not a feather than he fluttered, till I scarcely more than muttered. Other friends have flown before, on the morrow he will leave me as my hopes have flown before. Then the bird said, nevermore. Dun dun dun. Doesn't that just leave you with a little bit of chills? Like, have some, go listen to somebody who's better a uh, reader than I am. Uh, read it. It will give you chills. The next poem on my list is a very short poem, but it means a lot to me because I am very entwined with nature and what the world around me is doing has a huge effect on my day-to-day -day life and um, I'm always much more at peace when I'm out in nature. I hate living in the city. I just hate it. It kills me slowly. So this is a poem that is perfect for me. The poem is by Wendell Berry and it is called The Peace of Wild Things. I will read you a short selection. It's a very short poem, so my selection is like half of the poem, but please go check it out and read it for yourself. I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water, and I feel above me the day blind stars waiting for their light. For a time I rest in the grace of the world and am free. See, isn't that pretty? Isn't that. This whole poem just describes like how my soul feels when I actually am able to get out into nature and be myself. Okay, the final poem on this list is my all-time favorite poem and probably will be forever. I love this poem and it just, it gets me. It's another victorious poem and it is called Invictus and it is by William Ernest Henley. I freaking love this poem, you guys. I'll read you a little bit. My cat is here to cause havoc. The other cat. There are multiple cats to cause havoc. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. Oh, I love this poem. It gives me chills. The cats are gonna fight. Now. Quick. This is a poem that says whatever happens to you, whoever kicks you around, whoever treats you badly, fuck them because you are going to rise up and you are going to show them and you will not be deterred. And I just love that message and uh, a lot of times I need that message, and I know a lot of other people do too, so I really encourage you to check out this poem or any of the poems on my list, especially if you really need some encouragement and some her and some, you know, I'm gonna rise up and fight all of this shit in your life. Check out these poems, especially Invictus. I love it so much. And there you go, guys. Those are my favorite poems. Do you have any favorites? I bet you do. You know what to do. Leave them in the comments. Do you have any poems like Invictus or Still I Rise that are very encouraging and sort of a fuck you to whoever's or whatever is giving you a hard time right now? Definitely leave those in the comments below because I will read the crap out of them. And as always, if you enjoyed what you saw here and you want to help out a YouTuber, then help me out by clicking the share option. Share right on Twitter, share on your Facebook, wherever. That's cool. I love it. I love you. I will see y'all next time.